Have you ever questioned whether fasting could be the key to unlocking untapped spiritual power? Prepare for an epic revelation. We'll look at how fasting frequently misunderstood can be the doorway to a profound and immediate divine connection. In moments, we will test your convictions, spark your curiosity, and demonstrate how to attain immediate spiritual rewards. If you're ready to a voyage that will transform your faith, don't miss a second. This is the it's time to explore what fasting truly is, meaning let's get in. God designed the the human body is extraordinarily precise physical contraption with enormous power. However, to keep it operating like this, the mechanism requires fuel, which we know as nourishment, to ensure our bodies receive this. God put vital energy in us. Appetite is more generally known as hunger. Food not only fulfills this desire, however, it also motivates us to integrate into the natural balance to support life. But then the question arises, why would someone decide to deprive themselves of food in the current period? We conditioned to eat three times daily. We are frequently reminded that the significance of a nutritious breakfast to start the day right, the command is clear, eat to stay robust from school. Learn the importance of consuming three. Every day, eat balanced meals and exercise to strengthen the body. So why give up eating? Today the habit of not eating is frequently related with dieting. Adopted to lose weight or improve health. However, some people abstain for various reasons, from food for spiritual reasons. The Bible refers to this behavior as fasting is generally performed. During a given period, in order to acquire the spiritual purposes appealing, the phenomenon, however complex, highlights how hunger can be seen from numerous perspectives. Perspectives vary from biological need and spiritual search providing. A fascinating look at the intersection. Consider the relationship between body, mind, and spirit. An example from the Old Testament, specifically an annual practice of for faithful Jews, the mandatory fast described in Leviticus. 1629. God determined that on the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you will afflict your hearts, do not work at all. Whether citizen or stranger who lives among today is Yom Kippur, also known as the goal of the Day of Atonement is to fast observed on the Day of Atonement was clearly God wanted His people to reflect on the solemnity of their salvation. On this day the high priest would enter the Holy of Holies and offer the blood of an animal to atone for. Leviticus 16.24 addresses the transgressions of the people, outlines how He will wash His body with water in the holy place, put on His clothing emerge, and offer His burnt offering and the burnt offering of people making atonement for themselves. And for the people, the reason everyone fasting was to identify with the euphoria. Priest, during this act of sacrifice, a lamb was donated for the forgiveness of the nation's sins. Additionally, Jesus provided guidance on he taught his disciples to fatternage. As reported in Matthew 6-16, 18. Each furthermore, when fasting, you should not be like the hypocrites with a sorrowful, they disfigure their countenance. Faces that may look to men to be, I can promise you that they have fasted. Their prize. But when you fast, anoint your head and cleanse your face. Teaching highlights the importance of sincere in fasting, not done for show, as an intimate statement of religion and repentance. This practice, both in historical and spiritual frameworks, provides deep reflection on the link between sacrifice and forgiveness. Fasting will bring about personal regeneration, remain a covert act, visible only to the Hidden Father and the Father, 
whoever sees what is done in secret, reward you for abstaining from food. Food is both enjoyable and vital for you. Draw divine attention even at that time. Jesus advised us against ostentation. Fasting emphasizes that we should not seeking public approval with our he stressed that fasting is a valid spiritual discipline, saying, Whenever you fast, demonstrating that it is the act of temporarily giving up bodily food, is one example of a desire for more spiritual need, rather than feeding yourself or commit yourself to the secret. Praying for divine intervention, however, if the motivation is to avoid food is just for others to admire you. Spirituality their recognition will be the only reward for you. Receive concerns about fasting. If you've I never fasted before, the notion of going. Without meals for some period may appear, there are a range of concerns. Due to our three meals per day regimen, many people question if they'll feel hungry. 